All right. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you that we get to meet together, even if it's just virtually. I pray that um, we enjoy our days that you've given us because we're still here. And um, I pray that we're able to honor you with um, whatever we do, whether that's art or um, taking care of our families or just um, living moment to moment with God. And I pray that we enjoy our time together. And um, yeah, that's it. Amen. Okay. So... I don't know. I kind of made up like my recording stand here. So I'm going to try to show you guys, but we're aiming to make something similar to this. It's not going to be the same because it's your own artwork. And I don't like when people are like, oh, it doesn't look the same. That's not good enough or whatever. So I'm going to take my plain piece of paper and fold it in half because I do not like making my words really big because I am just not um, talented enough to make them all look even. And um, I measured out all of the distances because I'm a little bit OCD and like it in the middle. And so from your top, from the top of your paper, it's like seven centimeters. I use centimeters because it fit perfectly like that. Otherwise I would use inches but it's seven centimeters to the center. So I marked that down on both the top and the bottom. And then I'm just gonna connect it so that I have a center point that, um, this is with a pencil, right? Because we're going to erase this? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. My number two. Are you assuming that we're using an 8.5 by 11, like, printer paper? Yeah, just a regular piece of paper. I folded it in half because when I, whenever I make it, like, too big, it doesn't seem to fit correctly. But that's probably just me. So you can do it how you want, but this is how I set up. Um, my last piece of whatever you want to put art, I guess. Grace, I, I'm sorry, Grace, could you please repeat what you, what you said about the measuring? Because there was too much noise here, I couldn't hear it. Okay. So um, from the top of your folded piece of paper, it's seven centimeters to the center of the paper. So I marked it on the top and the bottom so that you can draw a pencil line down the center and keep your work a little bit more okay, centered. Yeah, outside. Grace, can you hold up what it looks like now, like pretty close so we can see? Um, there you go. That's just to help us get centered, right? And so if you were using yeah. another piece of paper, you would just find the middle and draw your, your line down the middle of whatever your size was. Yeah. Great. So then, um, this isn't really centered, but, um, I messed it up, so I put it 11 centimeters from the top of the paper when um, this way, so that I can have a center line. Um, so you can find a direct center if you want. I'm just going off of what I made my last one because that's easier for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to um, connect my halfway point again so that I have a cross point. <laughs> a cat on the drawing. Yeah, Leah, your cat is being super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to hold that up again? So you now, yeah, so now I just have a little like crosshair in the middle and it'll help keep your art a little bit more centered instead of um like all over the place because i have done that plenty of times um so then since it's a diamond shape i'm going to put um lines on each side um two and a half centimeters over so that we have a point that we can reference I'm gonna have a line. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, you guys can totally change the size of whatever you're working on to fit your needs, but I like my um, this condensed because I get lopsided. So after you did your two and a half centimeter marks, I marked another one from the top four centimeters and from the bottom four centimeters so that you can connect them all. So when you have all your um, crosshairs marked, you can connect the lines and you should end up with a um, diamond shape with a cross in the middle. Um, seven centimeters from actually, I did some, I did some from the bottom to the top. Grace, can you show us yours up closer? It looks sure. white in the, yeah, okay. So, just a shape right now. And um, I like the line on the center though, because then you can like make sure your words are positioned evenly because I'm a little OCD sometimes and um, I think it looks a little cleaner. But if you guys are ready, I can continue. All right, so if you want, you can keep using your pencil. Or if you're feeling comfortable, you can use a marker or a Sharpie or a pen. Um, <clears throat> I say either of those things because it's still going to make a black line. So whichever you like best. But um, on my first one, I made it first. You don't have to do that, but I think it looks nice. So like a little bit from the top, I drew a little curved line to keep my uh, word perhaps um, lined up and fairly even. So the H will be on the center line if that's how you want it. <laughs> Leah, it's going to be just impressive to see what you come up with, assuming yeah. your cat is walking back and forth every single moment. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, so loving. So I got my word perhaps finished. It's not beautiful, but like, you know, it's up there. So after we're done, we're going to go back and like beautify. Can you, it. Can you like leave that up for a bit so we can see it? Because we, sure. yeah, leave that there for a bit. So perhaps, do so you used, uh, okay, I got to move my line down. You can use like a uh, thin sharpie or a black marker or a pen or whichever um you're most comfortable with what are you doing come here say goodbye <laughs> thanks kate no problem <laughs> Um, so then the next word is you, um, and Grace, can you see that again, sorry, like, can, you, can I see that again, because, yeah, that's okay. So I took this verse out of Esther, and I kind of changed it up a bit, like, out of context, I guess, but like I think it's a cool phrase. 
um, it says perhaps you were born for um, exactly this moment. So like that's what I changed it to. But in Esther, Mordecai is talking to her and he's saying, and who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. And um, I feel like that's pretty relevant to right now because we're all like in a state of uncertainty and um, we can all like do what we can, make people feel comfortable and feel loved and um, appreciate the time that we have. And um, like God knows that we were going to be around for this time. So perhaps we were born for exactly this moment. Are you guys ready for the next step? Yes, we are. All right. So I just wrote you kind of like fancifully. You can just like write it out um, thin and then we'll go back and I'll show you how to make your letters look um, like calligraphy. I don't do like real calligraphy, but um, I do like nice looking letters because it makes me feel fancy. So this is how mine looks right now. It's just curly cursive, I guess you could call it. Like, not super cool, but um, we'll go back and make it look a little bit nicer. I put my letter O on the center line because that lines up pretty nice. You might want to hold up the paper for people so they can see the sizing. Sure. Fabulous. Thank you, love. If I just like can video that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, then you go like. But that's not that's speaker weird. That's like click on. everybody talks. She was going to mute you. That's fine. So you can do that's fine. that. That's fine. <laughs> that okay. Oh boy, she wants social to distancing, now. huh, Katie? <laughs> You guys ready for the next step? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the next three words I put um on the center line is we're born for, um, like W E R E. Um <laughs> and I put the O of born on the center, like as you know, pretty close because I don't know. It's even then. So I'm just gonna try to fit it down there. Um yeah. fairly nice. Like it doesn't have to be fancy. I used plain letters. No, eh? When it comes to perhaps you. Can you hold up your sample for a minute before you do the next one? Oh, 
So none of our letters are very nice looking yet. We're going to go back in um, after it's all written out and um, it fits. <laughs> then we're going to make it look fancier because I have had plenty of times where I made things look nice and then the rest of it doesn't fit. And so I have to restart anyways. Oh, <laughs> All right, so next up, I keep switching between my papers so you can see what's going to happen before it happens is exactly this moment and I put them um, like stepping between <laughs> so that they all fit because um, I liked them mm -hmm. bigger. You can change the style if you want like it's all personal like that's what art is. Um, it's using your own creativity and um, just like enjoying your time so. Ik kan niet. Ik vind het ook heel moeilijk hoor. Ik kan het zelf doen, maar ik vind het ook heel moeilijk. Wil je gewoon je eigen. Kijk, het is wel net mooi. Omdat ik zo te doen, hè? Zo lang is het niet. Dat is wel leuk. Ik moet gewoon met je even in het potlood en ik ga het Grace, when you're doing yours, do you start like in the center? Do you just kind of like guess? Like, how do you how do you get it to be pretty much lined up? Um. So when I did my first one, I counted the letters so that the middle letter would be on the center. Um. But like like I was saying, it doesn't have to be. It's kind of personal opinion and um, however you feel like doing it. Because there's been times where it just doesn't work out. Like. My second one here, my word moment does not fit like it did on my first one. But you know what? It's okay because it still fits. I probably should have made my diamond shape a little bigger, but you know what? It's all good.
I like seeing all you guys so focused. It's so fun. Um, if you guys are ready, I'm going to give you the next step. It's not like a super scary step. So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and then I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go back on um, my cursive words in the downstrokes. That's how calligraphy um, gets its thick look. The downstrokes are thick and the upstrokes are thin. So on your cursive, you're going to, um, well, I'm going to draw a line next to it. On my first part of Y, that's my line. And then I'm going to fill it in so um, to blacken it. And that's how it looks thicker. This is what people call faux calligraphy um, because it's not real calligraphy, but it definitely looks like it. And it's fun to do. I enjoy it. Now, if you want to leave your letters open, like the rest of my part of you, you definitely can. It has its own kind of look to it. Um, I like filling it in because I usually forget which side I put it on. And so it looks um, kind of lopsided when you have it on one side and then you have it on the other side too. Um, kind of like 3D shapes, like you always want it on that one side. So I usually fill my in because I forget which side I put it on. It's funny how filling in letters um, gives it a whole different look because it doesn't look like plain cursive anymore.
So all my cursive letters are filled in now. They look fuller than they did before. Um, I hope yours do too, because that's just fun. And um, so the plain letters, I'm going to go back and bolden them a little bit, not a ton so that they blend together, but so that they're not as, I don't know, wimpy. <laughs> they look a little plain right there. So I'm just going to go back and touch them up a little bit. Are you going to bold in all the things or just the downstrokes again? Um, I think I'm going to bold in all of them, but you can downstrokes, you know, it's very personal how you like to do your creativity. Also, I feel like every time I do something, um, I do it a different way. <laughs> so, you know, whenever you feel like, oh, but this turned out completely different, that's because it probably did. So I finished bolding mine. Um, you know, if you're not done, take your time. But I'm going to write um, Esther on this side, and then I'm going to write 414B on this side because I like um, referencing Bible verses because then I can go back and like read the story and encourage myself. But um, you don't have to if you don't feel like that. But that's what I'm going to add to mine. I like it, Nikki. That looks really good. How did yours turn out, Leah? Pretty good so far. I like it. Yeah. Wow. How about you, Bashes? I like it. This is so fun. I miss doing art with people. Peterson's, let's see yours when you're ready. I see Brooke's still working, but. Oh, Brooke's a perfectionist, but there's mine. I like it. Nice, Michelle. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 Okay, new order is done. All right, so I'm going to add flowers because I like florals, but you can add like stars or like space stuff. Like, I don't know what you're into, but you can add whatever you want. Um, just on the sides to give it a little something because right now it's kind of plain. Like, I don't know. It's not like bad to have a plain shape, but. I'm going to add some little flowers. I can show you how I did my flowers if you guys want. Um, so I'm going to hold up my example because it's hard to show you what I'm doing because my table is all the way over there. But I did little lines. Um, I don't know if you can see. I did little lines to kind of outline the shape um, of like a rose type flower or maybe a carnation or whatever you want to call it. But um, you like start in the center and you... I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. Here, I'll do the step by step, I guess. So, this is like my beginning. And then I keep adding onto it. Up there. Hmm? Can I see that again? Yep. Yeah, definitely. So, I started with a little circle and then like a couple short curved lines around it. And then I'm going to add 
more curved lines as like petals to like until it's the shape or size that I want. I like the lines instead of connecting them all because it gives it a more open feel and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like with the calligraphy it's a little bit flowier instead of precise. I love your words. <laughs> Thank you. I come up with most of them myself. Yeah, it's amazing. Because all words are made up, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Not what are you going to do? Anything else? Oh, of course you will. Oh, Brooke wants to show you hers. That's very nice, Brooke. You're doing so good. Good job, Brooke. I think you're fit in there better than mine did. So I'm going to add flowers on, like, a few different places that I feel are a little bit open. I have mine on the top finished. They're not super beautiful yet. We're going to add a little color in a bit. So you just, um, I like right that. Keep it the back up there. So you just kind of like start with the circle and then outline around it. Sure. Let me start another one and I'll show you those steps. So this one on the side, I added a circle and, and then I added a couple petals. They're not really petals, but that's what I'm going to call them. And then I'm going to add more until it gets to be the size that I want. Maybe not exactly that size, but like bigger than it is at the moment. Ik heb een logo. En die heb ik hier allemaal op. Ik heb een nieuwe So I got my flowers where I wanted them. Um, it's a personal opinion. Um, they're in a different place than like my example was even because I had different open spaces than I did the last time I made it. So I just, I don't know. I found open places that I felt could use more than just air right there. And I added flowers because everybody likes flowers. Grace, what's exactly the Bible verse? Esther and which chapter and um, which verse? Esther 4, 14. And then I took the B part of that verse because okay. the whole verse doesn't really apply. And so I took the Bible out of context this time, which is usually a no-no, but, you know, it's art. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Do you feel If you want, you can add leaves to your flower bunches. I did that in my first one. I don't think I'm gonna do it this time, but um, you know, if it's feeling a little sparse, you can add some, what do you call that? Fauna instead of flora, flora and fauna. Foliage <laughs> or foliage. Uh, can you hold yeah. up your first one too so they can see what the leaves look like? 
I just drew basic, um, like, cartoon leaves <laughs> because I am not that talented, but I did want a couple leaves the first time. So if you want to lightly color in your flowers, you can, or you can leave them black and white. I'm not sure what I'm going to decide yet for my new one, but this one I use red and pink and yellow because I like those colors. And, um, you know, you could have blue ones. I've seen blue flowers before. All right, so I did decide to color in my flowers. And so this is my first one. I decided to do like um, thin little polka dot type lines um, evenly on the edges so that I can still see my shape because I tried erasing it and I'm like, that just doesn't look right. So I decided to like cage it in, I suppose you could say. Um, you can do like a full line, you could do like double lines or however you feel. Maybe you want to do like um, flower vines or something like that. I'm going to stick with my um, polka dot lines because I thought they looked pretty decent. So I'm just going to evenly do little dash marks on the edges of my pencil line with my marker or Sharpie or whatever you are using. She is essential. <laughs> when you say that out loud, it is just funny. <laughs> yeah. An hour. This is how mine turned out. Not super exciting or different than my first one, but um, I've noticed you always get variations. So I'm excited to see how your guys turned out.
I like that, Nikki. That looks so good. Hold on, keep yours up, Nikki. I have to like click on you to see you bigger. Oh, I didn't know you were so crafty. <laughs> oh, Leah, yeah, I like yours too. Oh, you're Grace is great. just a good teacher. I like yours, Leah. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Good job, Leah. Oh my god, what is that done? And now I have four more, three more kids to go. And what if I'm Okay. Nice. Wow, watches. Those look really good. Good job. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Nice. That is beautiful. And Brooke, nice. is, Brooke is a perfectionist and she is doing something completely different, but I'll show you what she has so far. She oh, is a okay. like birch leaves, so she was going to make birch leaves around it. Oh my oh, God. Wow. That's Amazing. really good. Good yeah. job, Brooke. How can I go? So, okay. go. so I'm going to, my pencil lines, they should be okay over marker or whatever it should be fine um i don't like seeing my pencil lines you can keep it on if you want um, like i said it's all how you like doing your art because i did not erase my pencil lines on my last one because i wanted to show you guys how it looked but this one i think i'm going to keep because i like how it turned out So now you know the secrets of faux calligraphy. Thick mm -hmm. down strokes, thin up strokes, and you guys can do anything. Mm -hmm. So next Saturday at this time, um, Maddie Rundell is going to um, teach us how to paint a painting. So that stuff will be coming out tomorrow. We'll send out like a, an example picture and the materials that you'd need. Um, last time she did a painting with us though, I didn't have all the right colored paint. So I just like mixed it and made it. I didn't have any white, so I just used yellow. And so um, it's not super big deal if you don't have the right colors, um, but that's what'll be happening next Saturday. So, and then this um, video, if you guys want to rewatch it anytime or show anyone else, will be up on YouTube. So um, Grace will be YouTube famous for teaching us this beautiful thing. I know, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, on the Ignite YouTube channel will be this. And also Madding's last painting is on that channel too. So if you didn't get to paint with You did a really good job with that one. If you guys want to paint a pretty picture, like that was a lot of fun. And it wasn't super hard, like, um, like to do. Um, give me one second. I'm going to go get it so I can show. Um, so I'll let, uh, I'm hoping Brooke gets a little more of hers done so we can see a little more of it because it's really awesome. I know. I'm really impressed, Brooke. That looks so nice. Yeah. So I'll be right back. I'll go get the picture she did last time. And then I don't know what she's doing next time, but I'm excited about it. So I'll be right back. I love watercolor pencils. <laughs> Grace, do you like watercolor pencils? I do because I can draw whatever and then I can add water and it'll be like almost exactly like how I drew it. Have you ever used those, Rhea? What, have you ever used the watercolored pencils where you, you no. color in? No. Yeah. Yeah, Timo used them for his school. That was the first time they entered our house. And they're Fun. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. I also found watercolor markers on Amazon. And that's what I like to use for um, my faux calligraphy, except it actually turns out almost like real calligraphy. I might be able to find a piece for you, but um, it really helps get your downstrokes thick. And then you gotta like train yourself to make sure you pull up on the upstrokes so that they don't look thick. But you can also use them for like watercolor paintings by adding water and stuff. I like them, they're pretty cool. What kind of black marker were you using today? Um, it's called a Tombow. Oh, it's yeah. So it's a thinner marker. Right? Yeah. It's They're not? Really, really thin, right? It's kind of got a thin tip to it, like a felt tip. Yeah. yeah. They have a more, like, flexible one for when you get better.
but I kept my hard tip one because I like using it like a sharpie because it doesn't yeah. like a sharpie. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like using the thin sharpie, but it's a little thicker than that, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so this is what Maddie did with us last time. Um, if you guys Thank want to come on and do that. Oh, um, like I said, it, it wasn't hard. You can tell it wasn't hard because I was able to do it. So it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, that's another, it's up on the YouTube channel. She walks you through each part. Um, so it's pretty, pretty fun to do. So um, with that, I'm gonna stop the recording and uh, say goodbye to all of you and let Grace say goodbye. Um, but thank you, Grace, so much um, yes, thank you, Grace. for thank doing this. All right. Yeah, I had a really good time. Thank you guys for joining me. Last week we tried to do something and nobody seemed interested, which is totally fine. So I'm like, maybe I need to up my game here. So I'm glad I did because this was fun for me too. And I believe last week's issue was I didn't promote it very well. So I don't think it had anything to do with people's desire. <laughs> this was better anyways. I enjoyed this. So, and we got to see the Boshes and Leah and the Petersons. Which is Lots of fun.